Which schools should close, which should stay open, and will your children go to a school you didn't plan for them to attend? Some tough decisions have to be made by this August. And tonight, KXN's Eugene Cho spoke with Austin ISD parents fighting for what they think is best for their children. When Angela Bradley moved back home to Austin from California. We moved into our neighborhood for the schools. But just three years after the move, she fears Austin ISD's school changes process might affect where her son goes to school. I would rather be home reading to my child right now than fighting this battle. District officials emphasize at this time, there is no list of any specific schools that might close or merge, and they don't know yet if any boundaries will change. So far, the only step AI ISD has taken is creating this map to evaluate the needs. I and mean, then that's primarily what the maps are about, is showing where we have services and where we're lacking services. We are not as efficient as we could be, and so what we're trying to do is to make sure that we put money towards our students and teachers and not towards aging buildings. AISD's operations officer told us the district is so big, this helps them better analyze data, like which schools are over-enrolled or under-enrolled, or which school is costing them too much money to maintain. They'll also review other factors like the number of teachers at each school and the availability of different academic programs. Some parents say their priority is maintaining the same school boundary. I will be watching. While some say they'll keep a close eye on equal access. I really hope that those talk about reallocating resources and sharing it more equitably across the district. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. There are six more public input sessions coming up. A group of parents and stakeholders will then review the ideas. A recommendation will be made to the school board this August. And if you can't make it to any of these meetings, you can still share your thoughts. There's a portal on the district's website. Select whether you're a student, parent, teacher, or community member. Enter your zip code and comments. You can view others, other people's posts, and see how they rate yours.